there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of December 28th. Uh, this week, you start off with the Six of Diamonds. Really great card. Planting a lot of seeds. Is, that's what the card's all about. Uh, building things up and uh, planning things for your future, planting seeds for the future. It's a very karmic card, like I say, with all sixes. And sixes, I mean, I will say, I've been showing up for people left and right lately in my readings. Um, you know, it's all about energy we put out, what we get back. And, you know, I really think that this is coming up now a lot because... You know, over the past few years here, it's been very difficult for people. People have been trying to do things, and then nothing works out, and all of this. But the six really comes in and says, "Okay, now you can you can put work into things now, and you can trust that you're going to get it back. It's no, it's no more of that stuff where you put energy into things and you, you you don't get any return on that energy. So you really don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. But it is also about work. It's definitely about working towards the things that you want." And, and building a lot of structure as well. You have the Ten of Diamonds at the end, which is another excellent card, but both cards really represent building structure in your life. So if, I mean, you know, laying some foundations and, and work and not even just, you know, not even just financially, I mean, even in love and things like that, trying to build some stable foundations is what this card is kind of all about. And it's apparently that card's done. Next, you have the Four of Spades. Don't create any arguments in the home. That's what this card is all about. It's all about arguments in the home, issues in the home, things along those lines. They're usually very small, but with the four of spades, you can turn something very small into something very big. It's interesting that it showed up with the two of spades. These cards, they kind of came out right together. And, uh, you know, uh, I left them together because I was really feeling that I always say it with the four of spades. It's like if, you, if you're living with somebody, you're in a relationship with somebody and you live with them, you know, definitely can cause a breakup, which is the two of spades. So don't allow that to happen. Again, this is a card. It's a warning card. I always say the four of spades is a warning that says don't cause any problems in the home. If your significant other or somebody you're with starts an argument, just let it go and just be like, you know what, you're right. And then don't drag it out because, like I said, it's interesting that it came out with that two of spades causing an argument. Some of you might have already experienced this, I'm getting, and that you, some of you might have already experienced this argument that led to a breakup and things like, you know, not so great. So just, you know, be aware of those, of, of all of that there. But next you have a really compassionate card. King of Hearts, a card of compassion and things like that. So if some of you did experience a breakup, you could very well kind of be able to bring that back together uh, and, and make something work out of that. But really, um, you know, the King of Hearts to me, number one, I haven't seen this card in a long time. I mean, really, I haven't seen it show up for anybody in a long time. The King of Hearts is very focused on something. Uh, he's very passionate about something, one specific thing. So a lot of you could be working on like a specific skill. I think education has come up for you in the past in, in my readings. And, uh, you know, the King of Hearts, he wants to become a leader in like whatever area he's working on. Like he wants to become the best at what he does. He's very passionate about it. Think about it. It's a hearts card, you know, so he has a lot of passion and things like that. And that's really kind of the message I'm getting for you is that you're really trying to like work towards something and be a leader in your field or, you know, to stand out in some way. So it's really great that you show up as the king of hearts or, you know, the, have the king of hearts energy this week because it does say that, you know, you'll be able to do that. You'll be able to make some headway. You'll be able to get ahead uh, with this card. And finally, you have the Ten of Diamonds. Like I said, building structure. Ten of Diamonds is a very successful card, though. It brings, like, a lot of success to you. It says that, you know, if you can lay that foundation, and if you have been laying that foundation in the past, even, if you've been working towards something and you've been really laying something out, then that's when you could see all the success um, coming to you. But this is a very successful card. It also says, like, if you don't have a job, and you're trying to get a job, go out this week because, you know, it says that there are a lot of opportunities for you to uh, get a job. Even if you do have a job and you're looking for, like, a new opportunity, this card is full of opportunity. And, I mean, I think I remember my 2016 readings were all about taking advantage of opportunity. That was a big word. So, you know, it keeps coming up. It keep you know, they keep stressing it. So definitely look out for that. But thank you for watching. I think it's going to be a great week. You have some great stuff here. Enjoy it.